Okay, so here we go. First video, first test to see uh, and show what kind of fishing we do. Enjoy. I wanna dig my hands deep down in the dirt Take a walk along the street if I'm feeling dessert All of this convenience just doesn't work for me I wanna play with fire, let me get hurt Can we dig it back? So here we are in the little sleepy town of Mendocino in Mendocino County. This is where we usually go to do uh, a lot of our crabbing. It's pretty good around here. Uh, usually the limit on Dungeness crab, by the way, if I haven't told you yet, is uh, five and three quarters, which around here, um, there's a lot of them. So our plan today is to go out there, get a couple of Dungeness crab, and cook them up. I have a little burner here and I have a pot and everything I might need. I also have a, uh, all my fishing tackle so in case I want to throw one out there and see what we get we can also do that. Um, but yeah let me finish getting all my stuff together and I will put you guys on the chest mount and we will see what we can get. There's quite a few people around here. It's been pretty busy in Mendocino lately and I'm not a very social guy and I'm actually really embarrassed to record in front of anybody it's just an awkward thing to do um it's my first time doing it at all so we'll see how that goes how much footage i actually get but uh hopefully we can get a couple of them and uh, cook them up for you guys okay so i'm basically just setting up my uh my rig here my snare we're using a snare today and uh hopefully that goes well we usually use crab traps down here they're the circle traps that you just pull up in a boat I had a little inflatable boat, but unfortunately, as inflatable boats go, it got a hole. So that's no longer an option right now. Uh, eventually we'll patch it and we'll be back out there. I have a couple of shots or footage from that as well um, that I could show you. I do have some drone footage of this area as well that I'll also put up um, just to show you how beautiful it is over here when it's sunny. Um, but until then, I'm gonna finish getting set up cast out and show you guys what's up okay so i look absolutely ridiculous with this chest mount on in front of all these people this is terrible horrible idea <laughs> but uh we're gonna try to go out there and catch them anyways there we go got it all rigged up little uh crab snare here i don't even want people to see that i'm like talking to myself so it looks like i'm a crazy person oh well i guess so we're gonna go out and cast this about five minutes, let it sit and uh, see what we got. So I've only been out here for a good 60 seconds and these seagulls are already surrounding me. I'm afraid that if I leave my stuff there for too long, they're gonna straight eat my chicken. Did not put it away very well. So we'll see how that goes. I'll go back and put it away a little bit better. Well, they do eat it. So I put that chicken away. Um, I don't know if you guys can see this very well, but it's a stove. Got it from a store here that was having a sale. And I thought, hey, why not? I could use that. So picked it up, usually 70 something dollars. Got it on sale for like 20. <clears throat> We're gonna see how it works. Set her up and see what the deal is with this thing. Looks pretty nice. Actually, I'm gonna set it on this piece of wood here. The instructions, never use those. For the most part, you can pretty much just figure these things out. But in dealing with gas, uh, it's always good to go over the instructions and make sure you don't blow yourself up. So I'll keep them close at hand anyways. <laughs> But they look pretty straightforward, so we'll finish setting this guy up and then go check our pole. Because in this area, it doesn't take any more than 
five minutes, you can literally drop your bait down and, or your trap down when you're in a boat and watch them come to the trap. So I'm gonna finish setting this up and then go check the trap and we'll see where we're at. Again, these crabs do have to be over five and three quarters long across the carapace to keep. I believe I have my measuring tape in my box. So if I do catch one right now, I won't keep it for very long. I'll just rush over there real quick and give her a measure. See what it looks like. All right, so what you wanna do with crab trap, crab snare rather, is point your pole at the trap or snare. God, I'm gonna do that like a hundred times. Reel in until you get some tension and then pull back really hard. Nothing, I don't think I got anything. Nope, that's surprising actually. Usually, they're so abundant here. I'd be so surprised if I don't get something today. You can tell that they usually do or are very prevalent and abundant here. I did bring my stove. That wasn't just wishful thinking. Uh, usually I always catch something here. We're gonna figure it out together here. Let's give her another flick out. And I'm almost certain I'm gonna lose my trap because this line is only, I don't know the exact poundage, but it's not very much. So we're gonna try to keep it easy when we're reeling it in there. No, I really do like it out here though. It's peaceful when there are all these tourists around, I guess. Uh, Fort Bragg, just a little north of Mendocino, opened up a week ago or something. I guess opened up, quotation marks. So there's a lot of people in town. It's crazy. So let's just check this trap again here real quick. You know what, for now on, I'm just calling on a trap. I don't even care. <laughs> let's just point it and yeah, we got something, we definitely got something. Yes, definitely have something. Yeah, that's heavy. That's really heavy. Oh man, I'm gonna break this dang rod. It's not the most expensive rod in the world, but I'd like to keep it. All right, there you are. There we go. All right, so let's see if this uh, guy's over five and three quarters and we'll, uh, We'll keep him if he is. I'll throw him back if he's not. Oh, you know what? He's not, he's shy. He's shy of five and three quarters. So we're gonna throw this guy back. Let him live another day. Man, if I did just across the carapace here, right above those spines, I guess it's not, it's only about five and a half. So we're gonna throw this guy back and set it out again. And see what we get next time. Sounds like it's just a little guy, if anything. I don't know if there's any, anything on there. He's tiny, tiny little guy. He's just a wee lad. All right, we got one on there. We got one on there, definitely. Uh, again, doesn't feel very big. So the chicken does have scent, but the problem is now I just need to get a bit. Ooh, he feels like he has some weight. Maybe, maybe I might have a good one if he doesn't get away. See, it's always uh, stressful until you get him all the way in. Oh yeah, he's nice size. Oh, this guy is a keeper. Oh, definitely. You are mine, little buddy. All right, let it go. Oh, maybe not. He might be pushing it. Oh, man. I ain't getting much bigger than that. So, it's been pretty slow. Um, that's to be expected on the snare. <laughs> I'm usually uh, out here with a, a crab pot uh, or a, a round crab trap, rather. Um, 
sorry for the wind. I know it's windy. I know it's picking it up. I didn't grab my big funky looking uh, wind sock for my camera, so that's a problem. I'll have to bring that next time, definitely, because you could probably just hear it roaring right now. I'm not sure, but most likely. Um, we're going to spend maybe another hour here and then uh, move on to another area if it's just either I'm not yielding the crabs I want or they're just too small. Um, but for the size, the, the area doesn't matter usually in this, in this river, um, but we'll see. All right. All right. So we were able to catch a crab of legal size out there. He's cooking up right there, being all warm in his little hot tub. And, uh, soon I set a timer for 12 minutes, put a little, uh, let's see, what is this? This is Zatarans, I believe. Yeah, Zatarans uh, shrimp and crab boil. I saw this on Ace videos, and uh, he uses it a lot. So it's pretty nice and, and good. So uh, we're gonna give it a try. So timer is up on this guy, so we're gonna turn this off here, and then we're gonna pull him out to let him rest for a while, so I can handle him when he's done. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Let's, let's see if we can flip him here. Get his leg at least. I'm gonna set him out of the water, obviously. We're gonna get the butter going in that pan, but I need somewhere to put him first. Actually, you know what? Hmm. Well, he wouldn't cool down too quickly. We'll figure this out and we'll get back to him.